The New Jersey Technology Education Association. A video by Chris Anderson and Chris Better from Gateway Regional High School. The activity we do here at Gateway, and under the area of the design world, transportation, is the CO2 dragster. This activity has been around for 20 years. Typically, teachers purchase a whole bunch of these blanks from a company. Uh, they become in basswood or balsa wood. You can also buy them in styrofoam for modeling. And students would design side views and top views to cut out the bandsaw. And then they would do a whole other series of processes with rasps, files, drum sanders, disc sanders, and sandpaper to bring them down to a nice smooth design. It would be aerodynamic and do well in a CO2 race. <laughs> Typically, the dragster is lightweight, uh, trying to make it an aerodynamic design so that it may have the lowest drag coefficient when put into the wind tunnel. Typically, lighter cars will do the best in the dragster race with the CO2 cartridge. Now it's an amp cartridge placed in the back, pop and explode one time with a pin. Uh, and we ask our students to go through the design process. The challenge may be who can design a car that will be the fastest in the CO2 race or have the lowest drag coefficient in the wind tunnel. Or even who can do the best in the downhill race, which is just a downhill track gravity fed, usually the heaviest car wins there. This way students have more than one object to, more than one goal to try to achieve. There are multiple opportunities for assessment and there's more opportunities for students to be successful at something instead of just the top three fastest cars in the class. Here we have the wind tunnel. The car has an eye hook or two eye hooks placed underneath already for the dragster race to ride on the fishing line. Eye hook fits over a little hook inside the car that measures back to a piezoelectric sensor when you turn the air on. The car gets pulled back and the digital scale tells you how many grams of force were being pulled back in the car. So uh, these cars will go really fast, sometimes 40, 50, 60 miles an hour. And you can time them for speed, calculate miles per hour after feet per second. Teachers work in lessons on aerodynamics, pulling in a whole bunch of different things from science and math all part of the, uh, of the process of research and designing before you actually get to design and build a car that's going to be good for the design challenge. Yet another transportation activity, this one we do usually in middle school, is the egg crashing vehicle. You take the same CO2 car blank you would buy for the, for the race cars, the dragsters or make the double wides into, and you strip it down to a bare chassis, right? Something that only has enough material to hold onto the CO2 tank in the back and hold the axles without the car snapping. They're very light. Then we give students a design challenge. Design around this chassis with a maximum height, width, length, and weight requirement. Make sure that your vehicle can hold an egg. Next we take the CO2 testing track that punctures the back of the CO2 cartridge for racing. And instead of racing the cars side by side, we aim them into a head-on collision. Now your car must have a series of safety features. And after each crash, the goal is for you to remove one of your safety features and then enter into the next round of competition. The trick is you have to be able to have the student remove the eggs so you can check it and make sure there's no cracks in it. It's great to do this by putting the eggs inside of some saran wrap or a, or a plastic Ziploc bag. We learned from experience the first year there was Two is a much wider version of the car we call the double wide. To do the double wide, extra blocks of wood of pine, three quarter inch pine, are glued to the side of the original blank, and then we use a counterbore forcer bit to recess holes so the wheels can sit flush. This way, you can design something that's true to scale for a muscle car or some type of an import. Another added, added value to the double wide car is we can bore out a hole underneath and we can make room for a nine volt battery and maybe three or four Christmas lights. That makes a great circuit. It's a great way to teach a series circuit or a parallel circuit with a paper clip switch inside. And you can also use flat three volt lithium batteries and LEDs. 
bring in signs into the design challenge. Mousetrap car has been around for years. You can purchase them as a kit or you can fabricate the materials yourself in class. The nice thing about any kit is that every student has to do the exact same thing to put it together. You can find out how different people work, what speed they work at, how they work, how they work together, and they come with instructions and you, you can't mess up. The bad thing about a kit is that there's not much room for design. The student only has one way to put it together, leaving less room for innovation, for creativity. But we like to do the mousetrap car kit as an introduction to our unit in transportation because it gives some students insight as to how different mechanisms work. For example, the mousetrap, full of potential energy. If I extend the arm of the mousetrap and tie it to an axle using a whole line of string here, as the mousetrap goes to, goes to recoil, it will unwind the back axle. Using all